हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज इंद्रजीत गांगुली एंड वेलकम बैक टू योर हिस्ट्री क्लास इन द वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड विद यू द पॉलिटिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द रोमन एम्पायर इन द अर्ली एम्पायर सो यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट आफ्टर द एसोसिएशन ऑफ जूलियस सीजर ही इज अडॉप्टेड सन ऑगस्टस founded an autocratic regime known as principate in 27 BCE with unlimited patience skill and efficiency he overhauled every aspect of roman life and brought durable peace and prosperity to the greco roman world so we can say that the first two centuries in the early empire showed the sign of peace progress and prosperity in every aspect of the roman empire but now the question is what was happened after this to know this let's move into our new topic the third century crisis remember students first two centuries of the roman empire were by large period of peace prosperity and economic expansion but the 3rd century brought the first major signs of internal strains so what are the signs the first one that is emergence of aggressive dynasties like iran okay the emergence of iranian dynasty basically in the eastern part of europe uh, threatened the existence of the roman empire okay there is a story that Iranian ruler Shapur I claimed that he had destroyed 60,000 Roman army and captured Antioch and many parts of the Roman Empire. So the Roman Empire faced threats from the Iranian Empire. So it was a first problem, first crisis for the Roman Empire in the third century. Okay, next, Alamanni, Franks, Goths. etc tribal confederacies capture rhine and danube frontiers remember students these tribal confederacies were considered as the barbarians so the roman empire faced crisis in the northern part of the roman empire basically the portions of germany france uh, and belgium these parts of region generally uh, faced problem in the time of the roman empire next one that is from 20 uh, 233 to 280 this period saw 25 rulers ruled over empire so you can believe that in these uh, only in this very short period uh, just uh, uh, more than 47 years 25 rulers ruled over the empire so you can understood you understood that that is this period was it was is was, was being seen as the economic instability in the roman empire so that's why this period is considered as the 3rd century crisis okay our next topic that is topic number 3 gender literacy and culture in this topic basically i will discuss with you features of the roman society okay number one feature first feature of these uh, feature of the roman society that is nuclear family system remember students eldest adult son did not live with their families and slaves were included in the family so whenever uh, the son became crossed 18s or more than 18 then he has to live his family there was a nuclear family system and father was the head of the family like in the other society next that is the conditions of women okay in the roman empire the condition of women was very interesting okay remember women did not transfer her husband's authority but she retained full rights in the property of her father so it is a very important uh, rights that the women enjoyed in the roman society that women is having rights over the father's property next one that is divorce a dowry system was prevalent in the roman empire next after the death of a father women became the heir of her all of the of all property it is also another interesting thing that is uh, if when a father dread the death so not only son but also women became a primary heir of the of all the property remember students uh, 
in class 12 you will read about the conditions of the ancient india you will read about the uh, uh, political and social life of the ancient india so in ancient india the condition of the women's are not so very good and they did not enjoy any rights over the father's property usually all the property all the paternal estate was equally divided uh, to the sons so women did not enjoy any right but in the women but in the roman society women was having the rights of her father's property it is very important okay next divorce system was very flexible and it was very easy men and women they can easily uh, take divorce at any time next age of marriage remember students the age of marriage for males in between 20 to 30 years and for the women it was between late teens to early 20 so these are the age of the marriage was fixed in the roman empire okay according to saint augustine wives were generally beaten by their husband so you can understand dom domestic violence was generally prevalent in the roman empire so the condition of women in the roman empire was not so very good okay father may sometimes blackmail uh, that he threw his unwanted child in the coal to die so so the, in this way generally the husband uh, generally doing their work and they usually uh, blackmailing their wives for all their works and for their all their needs so this is a condition of the women in the roman society next next topic that is literature so casual literacy was prevalent in roman empire what is the meaning of casual literacy casual literacy means a very few people they generally able to read and write we can say that uh, literacy was widespread among soldiers army officers estate managers so we cannot say that uh, there was a large, large vast number of people literated in the roman empire next one that is cultural diversity remember students roman empire was a culturally diverse country uh, sorry culturally diverse empire because vast diversities of religious cults and local deities okay there are several types of deities uh, local deities and religious cults are there remember uh, the story is about the before christ okay the uh, before the birth of jesus christ so christianity religion was not spread over rome so before the christianity there were vast religious cults were there just like marsh jupiter juno okay jews these kinds of religious deities local deities are generally there in the roman empire next uh, there are various styles of dress and costumes okay different types of food habits okay plurality of language example aramanic was dominant language group of near the east coptic was spoken in egypt punic and barber in north africa and celtic in spain and north east so you can understand you can understood that there are different groups of language people uh, sorry linguistic groups were lived in the roman empire okay this is it for today in my next class i will show you and i will discuss with you the economic system of the Roman Empire. Thank you and have a nice day.